How you doing guys? Back again with another video. So I'm here at this abandoned greenhouse or garden centre it used to be when I was a kid and I used to come down here all the time. Now I've come out for my daily exercise just for a couple of hours just to shoot some footage and give you three tips on how to create better looking shots and better looking footage just using a smartphone. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Everything I do is not just using a smartphone, no DSLRs allowed. So if that's something you're interested in getting top quality footage, just using a smartphone, consider subscribing. Okay, so the devices I'm gonna be using is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And hopefully in this video, you can take something away from it and be able to create and help you create better looking footage just using your phone. So let's jump into the video, let's go. Okay, so when we're creating a cinematic video, there's uh, a few things that I like to look out for or try and do in my shots to make it a little bit more cinematic and more interesting to look at. Now, the first thing is gonna be creating depth. So what I mean by when I'm saying creating depth is that, that we're gonna be having something in the foreground, something in the middle, primarily the subject, and then something further in the background there. Now, this is gonna create a lot of depth in the shot there, which is gonna just generally look more cinematic and nice. And especially using a smartphone as well, it's gonna give you a little bit more of depth of feel, but that's something else we'll talk about further on in the video. So let's give you an example now by what I mean by creating depth. Now behind me here, some conifer trees, and I'm gonna shoot two different shots here. And uh, so you can sort of see the differences between the first shot, which is just gonna be no depth at all. It's gonna be a completely flat shot. So let's just do that. So that was the first shot. We just shot it completely, just looking at it. But oh, that's a nice shot, the conifer there. I'll shoot that, get a clip of that. And that will just look very, very flat. There won't be no movement in the shot and there's not a whole lot of depth there to that shot, to be honest with you. So let's change it up a little bit. We'll have something in the foreground, we'll have the conifers and then try and get a little bit of the background in there. And then you'll see the difference for yourselves. Okay, so that was just the first shot of creating depth. We just shot the conifers. Wasn't the most amazing or interesting shot in the world, but you could see there by just adding something in that foreground, it created that depth there, the illusion of depth, and it made it look a little bit more cinematic. And creating this type of look with your shots is gonna just up it, just make it look that little bit more cinematic, a little bit more professional, and just more interesting as well. Not only did we create some depth, but we also created the illusion of movement as well. Because we had something in the foreground there, by panning across, it actually looked like there was movement rather than just a static shot. So, top tip, first tip for creating something cinematic, using a smartphone, create depth in your shots and it will make your footage look 10 times better. So now I'm gonna go and explore a little bit more into this abandoned garden center and see what we can come up with, see what shots we can create using the phone and talk a little bit about some more ways that you can use your phone and different techniques to create cinematic shots. So let's go. Okay, so tip number two in creating cinematic or the film look just using your smartphone is depth of field. Now, this can be very hard to achieve due to the sensor size of smartphones and like I'm filming on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra now, that bigger sensor size there is giving me depth of field and really helping the look out of this shot. Um, but if you haven't got one of these types of phones or an older phone or which hasn't got the bigger sensor size in it yet, which they will be coming, they're all gonna start putting bigger sensor sizes in, but if you haven't got that already, then you can pick up external lenses from say, Sandmark, B-Scrib, Yolanzi, any of the companies like that out there. And the telephoto lenses there will change the focal length up a bit, so it'll be a little bit more zoomed in, but you will get some nice shallow depth of field using those lenses. Another way that you could use it, and I've used in this video a few different shots now of me walking through the different bits and pieces, 
I've used the B-Script DOF adapter with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I've also used the Yongnu 50mm f1.8 lens on there. So by just creating a little bit of shallow depth of field, it's gonna give the illusion that you're using a more expensive camera, and it's just gonna make your footage look a little bit more cinematic, a little bit more professional, and not look like it's shot so much on a smartphone. So I'm here in this abandoned greenhouse now. I've been walking through them blooming bramble bushes, and I'm literally like, my legs are killing. But they are my first two tips. Now the first one is obviously creating depth, and the second one is creating depth of field or bokeh in the background. Now I'm gonna get some B-roll of inside this abandoned greenhouse, try and cut something, a little cinematic sequence together, and then we'll move on to my third and final tip on how to create cinematic footage just using your phone. So let's go. So my third and final tip is gonna be composition. So think about the shot itself. What are you trying to convey? How are you trying to make it look? Don't always have somebody just smack bang in the middle or the subject that you're actually shooting smack bang in the middle. Use that grid, use that rule of thirds, place it either slightly to the left, slightly to the right. Also look for say leading lines, something that's gonna automatically draw your eye into a certain spot of the shot. And just get creative. If you're shooting a subject, think about other ways than your normal way that you'd shoot it. So imagine you saw a subject and you've just got it smack bang in the middle and you're just standing there holding that phone in your hand like that. Think about different angles that you could shoot it from. Think about different compositions where you could have the placement of the subject in the frame and try and make it as interesting and as creative as you physically can. And all of these things combined will create a more cinematic and film look just using your smartphone. So I hope this video has helped you out or inspired one of you to go out and start shooting and use some of these techniques. It's been a bit of a tricky one for me. I feel a bit rusty with filming lately, like I'm just not up to scratch and I'm just, my mind's completely blank. So um, yeah, I thought I had to just get out and create something, whether it was good or whether it was bad. I just needed to do it because that's the only way you're gonna ever get better at making content and that is by going out and actually doing it and then editing it and uploading it that's the only way and you'll learn as you go on more and more about the ways that things need to be shot how they need to look the way you need to structure things because it is it is really really hard to be able to create content and and get good footage as well it's you know it's not easy so just try and do it as much as you can get out and film as much as you can and essentially i hope this video has helped one of you out there but let me know in the comment section down below if this is something you'd like to see a bit more of in these dark times. Um, I'm just going out and getting my daily exercise and shooting a bit of footage and putting something together for you. So let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing more of. But yeah, once again, hope you're all staying safe. Um, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.